Hey everybody, Tyrannical Dad back here again with the part two of the learning guide to DDO, training guide, beginner's guide, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to go over favor today and explain how you can earn almost anything in the game for free since that was touched on a little bit in the last section. Favor is gained with each quest a character completes based upon the highest difficulty ever completed for that quest. It measures how well respected you are with a total of 18 different NPC factions within the game, the sponsors who are hiring your character to accomplish a given quest. By performing more quests for each of these patrons for the same quest at a higher difficulty, a character gains more favor then can unlock special access to different benefits for that character and occasionally for your DDO account. Each character accumulates its own favor. Most favor rewards will not apply to your other characters, but some will apply to your future characters on the same account on the same server. Current favor for any of the different patrons and total favor can be viewed under patrons tab of the adventure complimentium. So how it works. You run a quest, each quest has a certain set favor amount, and you get a favor rewarded based upon the difficulty that you do it. Um, I'd say if you're running on the highest difficulty, most quests are going to give out between probably 4 and 24 or 32 favor, depending upon the difficulty and level of the quest. Um, heroic versus epic so this is when you get to level 20 uh all your quests become epic at that point <clears throat> and so on so favor is calculated a little bit differently it ignores oh it does actually no okay so it doesn't matter if you run it on Heroic or epic, actually, you will get the same favor no matter what. So to claim your reward after you have earned all of your favor, you have to go and find your patron representative and where they are. You can look at your adventure complimentium and it will tell you where that they are located at, or at least the name of the person, so you can go Google and find where the person is. Uh, this goes back to what I was saying um, in the previous video. You can earn DDO points uh, by earning favor as well as just the rewards that the game gives you. So for every 100 favor a character gets, you get 25 DDO points that can be added to your account. And then there are special one-time rewards for the first time that you complete favor rewards on each server. You have 5, 25, 50, 500, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000 favor for the first time on each server. Deleting or reincarnating the character that earned a DDO reward point does not remo remove the DDO points from your account. When you reincarnate a character and the favor is reset, each 100 favor you reacquire will again net you 25 DDO points. <coughs> These special ones that they're not telling you about for 5, 25, 50, 500 is either an extra 50 or 100 DDO points on top. And you can do this on every single server. And my recommendation for doing that is I believe every account has the Blade Forged Paladin iconic, which is a level 15 character you can just make off the rip. You make that character and you just go run some harbor quests, which are level 2s. You'll be able to breeze through them no problem, and you can get up to this 50 slash 100 favor no problem and get your extra DDO points on every server, and maybe you can buy a few things that you want right off the get-go. That's my number one recommendation. Now I'm going to go over the, um, the rewards that you can get for each faction based upon your reward, uh, your favor tier that you make it to. Agents of Argonessen. For 75 favor, you get some dragon shards. Uh, you also or no, you get a choice of some dragon shards, blood of a dragon, collapse portable hole, or some dragon cookies. 
My recommendation is if you don't have a whole bunch is to take the collapse portable hole because that can be used later for another favor reward to increase our storage capacity, which I'll go over. At tier two, 150 favor, you get an extra 10 HP, which, you know, if you're getting this from a bunch of different of these people that give out HP, um, you can increase your HP anywhere up to, you know, about 50 to 100 points um, just from favor rewards, which is a pretty big deal. And then the Agents of Argonesson at 400 favor, you get plus two to saves versus dragons. It's a feat that's just granted to you. You can't earn the tier four currently with Agents of Argo. Moving on to House Caneth for 50 favor, you get 10%. Oh, you get either a 10% crafting XP potion, a 10% crafting uh, success booster, or a mark of House Caneth. You can also unlock the Artificer class for 150 favor there. So if you wanted to play the Artificer and you don't want to pay for it, just go earn 150 favor in House C. This is the big one that um, is really important to get favor early in because it helps out a lot. 75 favor gives you the character inventory tab I was telling you about earlier. This one's just granted to you. The second one for 150, you have to go turn in with that collapse portable hole and about 10,000 10, platinum. And you turn that in and it'll increase your storage capacity another time. For 400 favor, you get another feat. It is going to be a plus two to diplomacy and intimidate. Moving on to house D for 75 favor. Uh, you have access to plus three ammo, discounted repairs, and the large wide quiver. You also get a feat, which gives you plus two to your intimidate and search. For 150 favor, you get plus three. Oh, you have the opportunity to buy plus three seventy five percent chance for turning ammo and a large thin quiver, and you also get plus five HP. The free agents, you have access to plus two thieves tools and trap making ingredients for one hundred and fifty favor. You gain access to plus four tools and empty vials. Uh, for four hundred favor, you can repair with them and your chance of permanently damaging an item goes down, which doesn't happen too often, but it does happen. And for 700 favor, you unlock the falconry enhancement tree for free, which is a really powerful enhancement tree. And to be able to earn that for free is awesome. Next, we have the gatekeepers for 75 favor. You can gain plus two to spot and concentration. For 150, you gain 5 HP. For 400, we gain the Horizon Walker Enhancement Tree. For 700, you get plus 2 saves versus extra planar creatures. Oh, still got quite a bit to go over. All right, going over the Harpers. For 125 favor, you get a lesser Harper pin, which allows you to, I forget what it does. Uh, the Harper pin, you can dispel any crowd control effect that are currently incapacitating you. So basically, it's like, uh, if you played World of Warcraft, it's like the human clicky. At 310 favor, you get the Harper Agent Enhancement Tree. It's a pretty good enhancement tree. A lot of builds use that. House J, for 75 favor, you can get 60-minute divine buffs that are all right. You also get a plus two bonus to your heal and diplomacy skill. At 150 favor, the buffs become a little bit better if you want to use them, and you also get plus five HP. <clears throat> Moving on to Keeper to the Feather, this is going to be your Ravenloft stuff. Uh, for 60 favor, you get plus two saves versus undead. 
for 120 favor you get a small augment bag this will collect your filigrees and augments and things of that nature 180 favor you unlock the vistani knife fighter and these three are easily gotten just by doing the entire ravenloft saga on the hardest difficulty and for 240 favor you get plus two to listen and hide skill house k is also a very important um favor that you should highly uh get up quickly <clears throat> 75 favor allows you to increase your bank storage capacity by 20 slots and for 150 you get to increase by another 20 slots so you'll have a total of 60 slots in your bank which is really useful for when you're TRing, which we'll go over in another video Moving on to more Grave University for 75 favor, you get plus two to search and spellcraft skills. 150 favor, you get another five HP. 400 favor, you get plus two to save versus magical beasts. 450 favor, plus two to your use magical device skill. House P for 75 favor, we're going to get 60 minute arcane buffs. 150 favor, we're going to get. 50% public movement speed clicky which is completely useless if you're in a guild because you already get a movement speed bonus so you know don't really need to farm out those house p favor unless you you just need like the 75 or if you're grinding for one of the really high tier uh favor completion goals like 7000 favor oh, purple dragon knights for 125 favor, you get the teleport clicky to Evening Star, which is the Evening Star key. It is really useful, and I highly recommend you get it. For 250 favor, you get an extra 5 HP, and you get a cosmetic wolf pet. So if you don't have a pet, you like pets, that's how you get one for free. Uh, at 375 favor, you get set bonus to certain items. And at 500 favor, you get plus two saves versus evil creatures. The Fern City Council for 75 favor gets you plus two to haggle and bluff. At 150, you get plus five HP. And for 225, uh, you get the Inquisitive Tree. So if you like to play a ranged character, this is a very, very, very good tree that you're going to want to go down. <clears throat> the Silver Flame, 75 favor. Uh, the spirit binders are only half cost. Those are the guys that are in the tavern that you can, um, when you die, you can release your soul and you'll respawn there, or they can also heal you of various ailments. For 158 favor, you double passive tavern regeneration, so everything just goes twice as fast when you're healing inside of a tavern. That's really useful. And for 400 favor, you get you can buy silver ammo and healing potions without with a penalty. What I don't know what that means, honestly. The summer court 45 favor, plus two saves versus fey and creatures. 90 favor plus another five HP, and then you can unlock the fey dark illusionist, which is also a very good tree that a lot of magic users splash into. So if you're going to make a magic build, you might want to unlock this tree at some point. For 180 favor, you get plus two to diplomacy and perform skills. And the 12, for zero favor, all you have to do for your first time is go talk to the NPC, and you will get a small ingredients bag you only get one and that is very useful ingredients bags fill up very quickly 40 favor access to the crafting altar and shard vendor in meridia you'll probably honestly never use that ever doesn't matter this is a big one though 100 favor with the 12 you get a large ingredients bag definitely worth going to get 400 favor Feet plus two saves versus spells. 75 favor stacking buff potions with strong debuff effects on self with the Ugaloth. I've never gotten that one. Can't ask me too much about that one. And then here's the total favor rewards. So 
if you go to push on a character to do all the quests at the max difficulty so you can get all these rewards these are some of the things you get and the 25 or the 3000 is pretty easy to do in one life without trying very hard by the way it's anything past that that you're gonna have to put in a little bit of effort so 400 favor you unlock the warforge grace a thousand favor every character that you create on the server that you're on could be made starting at level four 1750 favor you unlock the ability to make a 32 point character so now those level four characters that you're making instead of having 28 points to put into your stats you now have 32 points and you get a plus two ability tome which is an impermanent a permanent increase to all your or one of your stats you know for for the remainder of the life of that character and its future lives and so on and so forth 2500 favor you unlock the favored soul class so if you want to play like a damage healer class uh, or a divine caster uh, you would want to go with the favored soul and then 3000 favor uh, just like the 1000 now you can make all your characters at level 7 instead of level 4, but you have the option to make them at 1, 4, or 7. For 5,000 favor, you get a plus 5 ability tome, so that's like the plus 2, but it's a plus 5 permanent increase. And then for 7,500, you get a plus 8. There's a thing in the store called the plus 8 supreme tome, which is kind of expensive, but it increases all your stats plus 8. If you are going to play this game for a long time, and you really enjoy it either farm this out for like eight lives or buy a supreme tome it is highly worth if you were going to play this game for a very long long time <clears throat> so i'm just going to scroll down to the bottom here just kind of goes over again all the things that you can earn for all those favor rewards and here is the total favor that you can get in each faction and in the game so there's 500 less than what you need for the max or 500 more than what you need for the max reward so you don't have to do necessarily everything if you want to get those plus eight tomes um that should be just about everything. I hope um, everything uh, in here about favor was really useful. I'll put the link to this in the description of the video so you guys can check it out or read along with me. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you for coming to the video. Please drop a like, subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you guys all in the next video in part three.